All right, hi. How's it going? My name is Landon. This is Lando 27 Music, and this is not the typical kind of video that I usually do on this channel. This channel, I usually focus on guitar gear, microphones, music stuff, but I thought today I would show a little bit of behind the scenes for people that are interested in video editing, and specifically Final Cut Pro X and the Mac that I use. So when I started this channel in 2016, I actually started the channel because I got a Mac Mini, which was the the very minimum 1.4 gigahertz dual core with four gigs of RAM. And I started making videos with iMovie and it worked okay. And uh, once I got into doing a number of videos, I finally upgraded to Final Cut Pro and realized that I needed something with a bit more performance. So I read that you could actually use an external SSD drive, which I did and I've been using that since. I don't think I could have kept using the 2014 Mac Mini with the stock internal drive. It's just, it's too slow to run Final Cut Pro. So using the external SSD allowed me to use that machine as long as I could. So we're now in 2018. Apple has released the, uh, the new Mac Minis. So I thought I'd check one out and compare the, uh, the performance for exporting videos for Final Cut Pro. So that's exactly what this video is. It's the comparison of the 2014 Mac Mini with the stock hard drive against a brand new 2018 Mac Mini. So the uh, the Mac Mini 2018 that I chose was the i5 uh, 6 core with 256 gigs of SSD storage and 8 gigs of memory. So we're going up from 4 gigs to 8 gigs. So what we're going to do We'll get into them and I'll show them. Basically, I've got a, a project that I've created in Final Cut Pro. It's a 4K video and I've exported it a number of times with the new machine, with the old machine, and you're just gonna see what kind of performance you can get. And I was hoping that'd be a big uh, boost. I don't think the exporting is the biggest deal. It's the uh, the background rendering that this the uh, the six cores can do versus the dual core. And just, if somebody just wanted to see, you know, is it worth getting a 2018? If you have a 2014 Mac Mini and you want to know if it's worth it to uh, try it out and get it. I don't think anybody else has done performance videos yet, so I wanted to do some real-time performance videos, show it, and let you decide if that's, uh, you know, if that's good enough for you. Final Cut Pro. So let's get into uh, the videos.
All right, that's gonna do it. Okay, like I mentioned, this is not my typical kind of stuff. This is kind of like a tech video, but this is the, the gear that I use to make the videos, the, uh, the music related videos. So sometimes I like to know what people use. Some people use Windows, some people use Mac. You know what, I was anti-Mac for years until I actually tried one. So I used to actually make fun of people that liked Mac and liked Apple. The hardware specs and the pricing seem kind of out of whack. If you compare the specs of a Windows machine against the exact specs of uh, an Apple machine, usually it looks like you're paying way more for the Apple and you know the Mac hardware. And I'd agree with that, it still looks like that. It comes down to a, a software experience with Mac OS and Final Cut Pro. Once I tried them, I can't go back to a Windows machine. So anyways, that's my experience. It's not for everybody. These aren't gaming machines. They're definitely better for multimedia, I think, if you're doing photo editing, video editing, music. They're great. Anyways, that's my experience. I uh, hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. If you do like this kind of content, let me know too. I'll, I'll do future videos with techie kind of stuff, as long as it relates to what I'm doing with uh, the channel. Uh, I always say in my, my guitar related videos, you might not have stumbled on this video because of guitar stuff, but play guitar and have fun. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.